on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, boys? Got my hands on a little less expensive e-bike just to see what the difference is. This is a lot less expensive. It's a lighter bike. Has the traditional tires on it, not the fat tires. The weather's been good up here, so I figure I should throw this thing together. I get good enough weather to actually take it out and try it. And cheer e-bike. Comes with a tool kit, user's manual, aluminum pedals, a D-power charger, 54.6 volts at 2 amps. I want to see how much of a difference there is between these more inexpensive bikes and the higher, I guess that'd be mid-price bikes that I've been reviewing. You can go anywhere from two, three hundred to eight, nine thousand, depending on what you want to do. One year limited hardware warranty. Where was he? At the end of the driveway. At the end of the driveway? Yeah, pretty much. Bad kitty. No kitty is a bad kitty. No birthmark yet. Yell kickstando. That's different. Disc brakes in the rear and the front. Tells you how to put the front tire on. There's the battery holder. I think this is the battery box. Has spring loaded front forks, oil dampened, a headlight. I believe that was supposed to go there. Got the wood stove going this year, boys. Price of oil's uh, a little cray cray. This is backwards, <laughs> just like the other one. They must send it for shipping purposes. You guys caught that one quick. So that handlebar neck has got to be spun around. It has cable style brakes for the disc rotors, front and rear. That's all it looks like it comes with. 8 and 10, 13 and 15, and 14 and 17. Two way screwdriver, and three Allen wrenches. This is your motor controller. What's up, Gizmo? We'll assemble the bike with supplied tools. You're not going out anymore. Are you helping? You helping Gizmo? Take the keeper out of this brake. This has a cam that tightens when you flip it. Turn this neck around. It'll be hard to get this perfectly lined up until we get on it. I'll get it close. Oh, well, look at that. This has a super low speed. You have one, two, three to select from in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got three times seven. It's 21 speed. Holy moly. This has the 500 watt hub. That should work pretty good with the smaller tires and a lighter bike. A velo seat. Pretty good. It's actually pretty light. As heavy as the old steel frame bikes they used to make back in the day. That looks about right. Each part comes with installation. Hmm. Right hand thread goes on the right side of the bike left pedal has a left hand thread righty tighty lefty loosey but not in this case 
15 millimeter puts the pedals on. Oh, it even has a protector for the derail system. And it looks like the hub is fed from there. The welds look pretty good. Not too shabby. It is an aluminum frame. If I didn't mention that before. It's got a Shimano shifter cassette. Decent sized battery. 48 volt, 480 watt, 10 amp hour. Doesn't say in the book what the pressure should be. So I'm hoping it says it on a tire. These are KO Yang tires. Front is a 27 by 19.5. There we go. Maximum pressure, 40 pounds. So we'll do 35. I'm not a little guy, boys. Thirty-five. Let's get this headlight on. None of these headlights that I've tested on these e-bikes are great. They're okay. Shows full charged. Let's just see what it'll do. before we charge it. Has a twist throttle. Headlight switch. Oh, it's a horn. Where is it? It's coming out of the headlight. Wow, that's pretty loud. It's on kilometers per hour. Uh, that's for pushing. Pedal assist. You have zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five pedal assists. So when the e-bike is parked for 10 minutes, the e-bike system switches off. General perimeter settings. To access general perimeter settings, hold both the up and down button simultaneously for two seconds. TC is trip distance clearing. We'll keep that off. Backlight. That's how bright you want your backlighting. We'll do that at 2. U is your miles per hour or your kilometer. To access general perimeter settings, hold both the up and down button simultaneously for 2 seconds. Then hold both down and on and off for two seconds to enter general perimeters. LD 700, that's your wheel diameter. LS, right now is set to 40 kilometers. Won't let me go any higher, so that's good. Personalized perimeters. Hold up and down for two seconds to enter general settings and hold up and down buttons simultaneously for another two seconds. So you have V-O-L-S-C-A-C-U-R-P-A-S-P-S-D-S-Y-S-H-N-D-S-P-S. V-O-L represents a voltage setting. Each bar represents a voltage value. This is a 48 volt. That's what the bar value is going to be at 40, that's at 44, that's at 46, that's at 47, and that's at 49. So that's good. If you want to change the bars to match different voltages as they're used, you can do that. So you got assistant level settings, that's SCA. Press the up or down button to increase or decrease until the desired mode is displayed. One is 50, two is 61, 3 is 73, 4 is 85, 5 is 96, and that's it. So that's percent. Then you have your CUR. CUR represents a controller over current cutout setting. CUR value ranges from 7 to 22 amps. The default is 15 amps. This is already set at 22. 
the skill is 25. CUR is control over current cut setting. The PAS, power system sensor setting. Run B is back, run F is forward. Run F. SCN represents pedal assist sensitivity settings. The sensitivity value ranges from 2 to 9. 2 is the strongest, 9 is the weakest. Default is 2. So that's good. Pedal assist magnet quantity. This says there's 12. N represents the number of magnets. Default is 12. We'll leave that because I don't know what that is. So that's set. SP to that. SPS is 01. Represents speed sensor settings. Default value is 1. That's spoke magnets. We'll leave that. HND. That's your throttle function. So it says HL represents the push assist function. HLN means push assist function is disabled. HLY means throttle push assistance function is enabled. Value is N, which is no. Woo! Burning rubber. SYS, system settings, delay time settings for battery power. Whew, that rubber smells. DLY represents battery power delay time setting. The default value is 3 seconds. Press on and off to access the max speed limit settings. Default is 40. We're all the way up. Now we're on PUS, which is push assist. Keep that on. PUS is 25. SSP is 1. Slow startup settings. SSP represents slow startup. The range is 1 through 4. 4 is the slowest. Default value is 1. So we'll keep that on 1. DLY, we're back to DLY. PSD, power on password. We don't want that. That's to enable or disable. We don't want any passwords. And that's it. So now, this should work. Looks like we're set. What else is there? Default setting recovery. Hmm. And you hold power to power it off. Let's charge it up. I forgot the seat reflector. This doesn't have brake lights or any of that. So if you're gonna go out at night, you gotta have reflectors. Gotta have. Push it up to the seat. Line her up. Flip her down, and that ought to do her. So, oh, it was unlocked. Here's the charge port. Let her charge up. So far, I like it for the money. If you're not into those fat, tired bikes, it's pretty nice. Fully charged. Okay, so it was my stupidity here. This battery will sit on this upper notch. The battery's got to go down. Like that. Now let's see what it'll do. Let's try throttle only. You gotta be on zero.
M squinch. Let's try two. Actually, let's go to five. I think it ends up being the speed. Of course, the brake stops it. So one is actually, it just goes by how fast you're going to go. Let's hit the road, Jack. Hope we make it back. Throttle does not work with pedal assist. left one is for the front sprocket so I'm on the highest which is the biggest yeah you can see the difference now the right one is for the rear sprocket seventh being the smallest which makes it the fastest a little John Deere Try throttle only. Let's see if it makes it up this hill. No, and that's pretty much the difference between. The 500 and 750 watt. Now it wasn't even the biggest hill. We'll try the big hill now. We'll get some speed up. <laughs> That looks like about 23 miles an hour. This is the big hill. Let's see if, if it does this, the 750 watt one barely did it. Now, gonna need some pedal assist. That's full throttle. Yeah, it makes a good attempt, but definitely won't do it with just throttle only. Yeah, it takes minimal effort. Sure better than pedaling without assistance. And this has a super low mountain gear range. That's, in, that's on the smallest on the front and the largest on the rear. If you leave pedal assist on zero, you can regulate your throttle and pedal along however you like or 
not pedal. This is pretty flat, so it looks like 22 miles an hour. 34. Breaking the speed limit? Nope. Ah, oh, that thing's not working. 40. You gotta put a pretty good amount of pressure on the rear brakes. The discs aren't that large on these, but it definitely will stop you. I'm gonna do a zero to 60 here. Or a zero to 60. Let's do a zero to 20, ready? <laughs> Throttle only. Right there. I mean, I'm 235 pounds, so we'll see how it does up this hill. Not bad for 500 watts. I expected it to be worse. Let's go back to pedal assist. It's pretty effortlessly to do like 18. Stupid salt. Notice it picks up at 16 and cuts off about 18 when you're pedaling. But I believe that can be adjusted. There's a delay that when you start pedaling. And now we're doing 20 effortlessly but it's slowing me down like 15 it's kind of weird why it does it up to 20 at first and here we go again it's pedaling up to 20 I'm sure it's all in the settings. I put everything back to default before I went just to make sure I didn't mess with anything. That's well, good exercise for sure. Yeah, I see it pick back up at like 12 instead of keeping a constant 20. It must be a setting. I have to look that up when I get back. I like it better. At or I can do my own, give it a little throttle, or a lot of throttle, so you kind of do your own assist with your hand. That's what she said. <clears throat> <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, because it's proportional. If you give it a little gas, it goes a little bit. I kind of like using a hand throttle. Get some speed up, go up this driveway. Come on. And it just made it. Pretty good. At least it makes it up that hill. And then if you hold the up button, it turns the light on. Apparently I had the headlight on the whole time. I must have hit it, like sometimes I'll just hit that little horn. See, <laughs> did it again. So let's take a look at the settings, see if there's something that could be changed for pedal assist, because I don't remember exactly. So we went 4.6 miles and use one bar of battery with the battery it's not too bad I mean it's a little heavy but it's not too bad 
pretty stylish bike too. Like if you're not into the fat tire bikes and a 500 hub with a lighter bike. Let's see. Controller current cut. That was lower than it could be on the Mac. So let's try that one first. Put the light on. And hold up and down again. There's current. Current. It says to cut it at 22 amps. Let's go to 25. Also, I think it's under system. Yeah, delay is three seconds. Let's. Hmm, can't lower that. LS speed limit. Put that all the way up to 40. The only other thing is that pedal assist range assist level. Assist level selection. SCA power assist level settings. Okay. So right now we have 0 to 5, which means there's 5 selectable. 1 is 50%. 2 is 61. 3 is 73, 4 is 85, 5 is 96, 6. Hmm, I wonder what AO means. Adjust override. We'll keep it at 99. 1, I think we should put down to like 40. Well, let's see how that works. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, this and then this LS is speed limit that should be 40 LD and LS huh so I had it set for a slower speed limit now we should be flying get my jacket it's cold out and my helmet set up I like that Glue this back. Do that later. It was kind of nice yesterday. Today you might need gloves. See? Will not let you go while it's in gear. All the other bikes, throttle assist would go when you had it in gear. This one won't. You have to be on zero. I'm sure with the settings cranked up, wear the battery down faster. <laughs> it definitely feels like it has higher acceleration. Yeah, definitely has higher acceleration. Not thick enough to go on yet. What was that? Fox poopy? Yeah. Fox poopy. Why do they poop on a rock? Let me try this hill here. Yeah. A little better. Yeah, it seems better. high gear start from nothing oh yeah pedal assist is much more constant I'm not really pedaling it's keeping me going 
you know, I'm barely touching and pushing any effort. Much better with the new settings. Much better. And if you pedal a little faster, that's throttle only. A slight uphill. Yeah, definitely better with my new settings. I'll try a little 0 to 20 again. Right there. Of course it started to go a hair uphill. It wasn't a good flat. My battery's dying. It is really cold out and you know how lithium batteries are in a cold. My cheesy settings are definitely better. Woo, my hands are cold. It's like 45 out today. Yesterday it was 53 or 54. Get up there. Whew, cold out. All right, I like that. It's definitely better. Let's do one little more rip. Looks like we have two bars left on a battery. And do a little photo op in the back by the pond. Low, low is very low. It's like a mountain bike. I have to say on the other ones that I've tested, it didn't have that super low sprocket, which is a good idea. I kind of like that. Whew. Let's, let's charge this battery back up. Get ready for the next adventure. It's 2.06 right now. We'll see how long it takes to charge. I believe it said it would take two hours. A few moments later. Jeez, I come down. Hasn't even been three hours yet and it's charged. And this is cool. So it's been charged for a while. So under three hours. But it wasn't totally dead. And this is cool. So it's been at least 15, 20 minutes. So I only got seven miles on her, and I guess the battery was down to about three quarters dead, quarter charge left. But I did a lot of hills, and I did off-road, didn't do a lot of pedal assist, but I did some, maybe 40 to 50 percent. So what do I think? I think for a third of the price of the last few units that I've tested that are 750 watt. What's up, Gizmo? Do you like it? Gizmo approved. It's pretty good. As you all know, I have a lot of hills around here, so it's definitely going to chew the battery up pretty quickly, unless you do a lot more pedaling. But once I tweaked the settings, it definitely woke it up a little bit more, gave it a higher top speed, made it a little faster. If you only want to spend about $650 and get into the e-bike scene, this might be for you. If I was to improve anything on this, I would definitely put bigger rotors because when you're doing 30 miles an hour down a hill you got to squeeze a little bit more than i'd like it definitely does stop you but bigger rotors would definitely be a plus the battery is a decent size 500 watt hub is pretty good i prefer the 750 since i've been using the 750s but that comes with the extra cost of course so all in all i think it's a good bike it's built well 
very easy to assemble took about a half an hour oh, my seat went back down didn't it it's because i'm fat oh no that's tight that's what she said so it's a pretty good bargain yes it's made in china like 99 percent of all the other products but the quality is pretty decent one year warranty that's not bad if you're looking for more of a mountain bike and a lot of people get these e-bikes just for the power assist but you still want to get out and exercise and ride it like a bike so it's lighter than a fat tire with a 750 watt and a bigger frame so if you're looking for more of a mountain bike style this type of bike is probably more suited for what you're looking for and it's about the same weight as my old school Schwinn with the steel frame yeah, and it has suspension on the front if you're interested, I have the links down below. Also, a discount code if they provide me with one for you guys. So thanks for watching, as always. Gizmo approved. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.